welcome to the channel, ladies and gents. Not Disney news for a change. Um, well, not today anyway. Uh, we've got Brian K. Vaughan. Uh, he's going to be writing Buck Rogers TV series for Legendary. Interesting. I didn't think Legendary had a uh, had a TV streaming platform. What's going on here? Uh, this article is via The Hollywood Reporter. I'll leave it linked down below. Check it out. Uh, Don Murphy and Susan Montford are producing via their Angry Films banner, along with Flint Dill, the grandson of the original Buck Rogers creator. So that's good. Keeping it in the family. Uh, Buck Rogers is cool. Like, it inspired so much stuff, so I don't see what's wrong with this. I think this is, could be good fun, to be honest. Uh, Brian K. Vaughan, the comics author behind Why the Last Man and Saga, has been tapped to pen Legendary's television series adaptation of classic pulp hero Buck Rogers. Where's it going to go? I didn't think Legendary had a, se had a streaming platform. Unless this is part of Legendary's team up with Warner Brothers, which is on thin ice, and it's going to go to HBO Max. I don't know. Uh, Don Murphy and Susan Montford, whose credits include Transformers and Real Steel. Not good. <laughs> That's awful credits. Uh, will produce via that Angry Films banner, along with Flint Dill, the grandson of the original Buck Rogers creator. The, <laughs> the only good thing is the original grandson, Buck Rogers Creator. These people are terrible. Uh, anyway, so Legendaries, you know, they're behind the upcoming sci-fi epic Dune and movies such as Godzilla and Kong Skull Island is envisaging. This is, check it out, ladies, a franchise, basically. A multi-platform and multi-medium approach to the character. Developing concurrently a prestige television television series, a feature film, and an anime series. Where's it going to go? Uh, now, anyway, so it's basically they're looking to create a Star Wars franchise, aren't they? But, but we're getting this resurgence anyway. So Disney announced all of these Star Wars films. Epic, whatever, fill your boots, son, I guess. Um, and then we've also got Battlestar Galactica. So that's in the works uh, already. That's like a movie as well as a series was confirmed. Um, and now we've got this. It's very much of that vein, isn't it? Like it's all very much, you know, space, epic, serialized, that sort of thing. Um, I don't begrudge it. I just feel that maybe you're rushing it because they say they're envisaging a multi-platform. So we're getting television series, which is what this is, an anime Fine, I guess. Where's that going to go? Like Netflix, maybe? Who knows? Uh, and a feature film. Again, all fine, I guess. Uh, Rogers first appeared in a story titled Armageddon 2419 and published in the in a 1928 issue uh, of Pulp Mainstay Amazing Stories, written by Philip Francis Nolan. The story is told of a man who's trapped in a coal mine during a cave-in, falls into suspended animation and rip van winkle style wakes up almost 500 years into the future there he enlists the help uh who's enlisted to help fight in a war between several gangs in what was once america which south park did a hilarious riff on this with sea otters and atheists and things like this uh it was very very funny uh, rogers was turned into a comic strip titled simply buck rogers in 1929 by the uh, John F. Dilko, whereupon the character's popularity exploded across the country. Soon, toys, radio plays, comic books, uh, and a movie serial starring Buster Crab followed. In 1979, NBC produced a short-lived but fondly remembered series titled Buck Rogers in the 25th Century that starred Gil uh, Gerard and Erin Gray and introduced a robot sidekick named Twicky and a talking computer named Dr. Theopolis. So, look, again... It is very much of that futuristic Star Wars space serial vein. Um, uh, I just... Uh, where's it going to go? That tells me more about this than anything. And we don't really see anything in terms of where it's going to go. Um, so I don't... I don't... Yeah, I don't have any super hope with this, to be honest. I just don't understand... So, Vaughn made his name in the comic space with his series Why, which envisaged a world without men, and uh, Saga, a sci-fi fantasy about two parents 
trying to keep their baby safe amid a galactic war. Winning Eisner and Harvey Awards. Other critically adored works from Vaughan include Ex Machina. Although that's being adapted now as well. Uh, Paper Girls and Marvel's Runaways. Uh, the author also worked as a writer on ABC's Lost. It's probably not stuff to brag about now. Uh, and acted as showrunner and executive producer of Buzzy, Stephen King's adaptation Under the Dome. Do people like that? I don't think people did, did they? Did they like that? Tell me, ladies and gents, because I didn't get good vibes from that. Uh, he's an executive producer on the forthcoming series adaptation of Why, which hails from FX and stars Diane Lane. So is that going to go on to FX then? Like, where's it going? Because they also say this new deal falls under Legendary's overall pact with the creator. But where's it going to go? Because that tells me what tone it's going to have. Now, again, Buck Rogers... Like, it can't be. Uh, it's not going to be R-rated. But I still want it to have a serious tone. To a certain degree. It is a bit of a dumb thing. Um, but will they change it? Because if he's just trapped in a cave-in, how is he going to go into suspended animation without people suspending their disbelief? You've got to remember, you've got to write this now with modern sensibilities not modern sensibilities in terms of women and all that crap uh, but modern sort of uh, suspension of disbelief sensibilities because people don't have the suspension of disbelief that they used to have they just don't um, and I think if this becomes too schlocky which Buck Rogers is schlocky anyway in a fun way like I like it um, I think they'll struggle but where, where's it going tell me Oh, tell me why. Um, yeah, I just, I just don't, I just don't get it. I'm just baffled by this, but I think it's cool. I mean, I'm all for it. Don't know where it's going. Um, I think it'll be interesting. The real, the real negative on this, and it is like a bit of a poo on all of this. Um, they're pooing on the parade. Is Don Murphy and Susan Montford? Look, Transformers. The first one was the was the better of them all. Uh, real still was garbage. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. And I also think this is legendary running before they're walking. They're like, yep, we're going to make a, a whole massive franchise out of this. Which is never good. That never ends well. Just focus on making one good thing and then go from there. Make a film. If the film's good, expand it. If it's not, don't expand it. Pretty simple. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. So please do let me know down below in the comment section. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care.